Well, well. Fifteen dollars later, guess what? Number eight. <laughs> now this, as you probably notice, looks in many ways like the other one. And that's because I think it may be the model before it or something like that. Uh, as usual, she's got a little bit of stuff that needs cleaning out here and there. Uh, but it's a little bit simpler. The other one, you've got like a little green dot that moves along behind a clear plate to show what setting you're on. And a silver knob. Well, this one's actually got the numbers on the knob and just a dot there. And... Um, yeah, long and short of it is, it's very much a similar machine. It takes the same bobbins. Now here's what I was saying about the... Uh... See, there's a difference between the needle and the foot uh, presser foot shank there. That's what I was saying. That's the... Well, it's not five degree. It looks like it's only about two degree difference. So... I don't know how well it's shown up on camera, but I tell you what, you can see it in person quite significantly. And, um, yeah. But anyway, they've done away with a little knob here on your tension, and you're back to your old style dial. Um, and uh, there's another very redeeming feature about this one, and that is we use a real three prong electrical plug, not a blasted air pressure foot. You know, everything else is more or less identical. You know, you get the same bit in the back here, except when it wants to show it, we're back to a normal three-prong electrical plug. No air pressure shenanigans. So if the air pressure one ever dies, I'll almost guarantee you could use it to replace the motor in this one. And you could use half of the works and jerks inside because the knobs are the same, the presser foot's the same, the bobbin mechanism, the feed dot is everything is pretty much the same. And uh, even carries your, your spool on an angle, which is for some reason this machine and the other machine, the only ones I've seen that hold on an angle. I don't know why. But uh, yeah. So anyway, i got other stuff to do today. Oh yeah, i actually got the cover with this one. So uh, I'll, I won't be fixing it up today. i also got this little box of tricks which is sitting beside it. Only sewing machine in the place. It was a little church run op shop. And um, yeah, I opened it up to find it's full of bloody faff bobbins. <laughs> which the old Hitler machine uses. And, uh, you know, that original first one I got. And I thought, nobody is going to be taking this because it's the only sewing machine in the whole damn joint. And this is a sewing kit, but that's actually must be for a faff that the former owner had. And, well, anyway, I might as well take it, so I took it. So, Otherwise, it's just going to sit there for the next five years and then eventually get thrown out. But anyway... Um, yeah, number eight. <laughs>